Welcome, everyone. Um, go ahead and roll a dice pool, Theta. Yeah. Destiny. So far, our destiny is divided. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking really dark today. Dark gang. Almost like uh, the fates know that you guys have ability to steal them away from me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Um, Otho has taken some time to research her task and she disappears and goes to the ho hotel and um some time is spent there uh a day at least um and upon returning she has unlocked the list of <laughs> all of the artifacts on three different planets. Excellent. On Drummond Cost, Zyost, and Yavin 4. We got them, boys. It's like, huh, I didn't realize there was anything on Yavin 4. Weird. Not like there's a hidden base on there or anything. Yeah, I thought that was just like some random moon around a gas giant. That's yeah, like wild. nothing on it. Wild. Uh, how large is this list? Uh, large enough that it takes a holocron. Wow. Um, most of it is meaningless to you, obviously, because mm -hmm. you don't know what any of it is. Like, uh, a, you know, a little excerpt of random tablet that no one can translate. Huh. Um, or piece of a lightsaber used by uh, theoretically used by some random smith long time ago or left shoe of xr coon or you know that kind of stuff right yeah, some, of these, some of these things are just ridiculously like whatever yeah um, it's... do you remember what you are specifically looking for uh, be specifically what we're looking for, although with this, um, there might be a bit more treasure hunting in the future, specifically what we're looking for is an object of, that would be of value to the Loridans. Or Lordians. Lordans. I always forget that. That we can use Lordians, to help. Right? Yeah. Nice, you have your, your sheet there. Oh, yeah. Did you have to make that, or did you find it? No, I just looked that up. Cool. I mean, at least, if, so long as we all understand how these dice are folded, then then should be able to figure out what dice I is where. Well, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you can just look at the... Hey, hey, you can just, like, see which one's adjacent like that. Well, yeah, but you also gotta understand there's a top and a bottom, and Different dice have so so long as you can figure out how they're folded, you can figure out. I mean, oh, yeah, unless like I'm this. not understanding. Well, you find the dice that comes up <laughs> top, right? So let let's say the threat and failure, right? That's on. That's the third from the top. So you would know that you can either change it to a failure exclusive or a threat exclusive so it's not like there's multiple sides that are the exact same well yeah you're talking about one to the right one to the left there's also a bottom side that's adjacent as well that you can't tell from doing that because that's a what True. was that one two three four that's a d8 right yeah. Which means that it has the two sides adjacent to either side of that, but it's also the bottom half that you can go and okay. that would be uh what double double failure. Well, I mean uh, That's what I'm saying. So have... long as we can understand how they're folded, we can still figure out 
We can always just pull out the actual physical dice. <laughs> well, maybe you can. <laughs> well, I mean, you could hold on. I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's a book somewhere telling you how to fold dice from flat sheets. But oh well, no, I mean, I. That's what I'm saying. As long as we all agree yeah. on the the way that they're done, it doesn't seem like it's rocket science. Yeah. Because looking but at it... that, I would assume that uh, the opposite to fail and stress would be double fail. Not opposite. Right. I mean one down. I mean, you're holding the die in your hand. You tell me. Mm -hmm. Which one are you looking at? Uh, the purple. Double fail. Yeah, I'm saying that. Um, looking at that, that, I'm saying that uh, fail stress. You're saying to the left of that would be a fail, to the right of that would be stress, and I'm saying below that would be double fail. Am I correct? So if you're looking at the double fail side, right? No, no, I'm looking at fail stress. Oh, fail threat? Fail threat, sorry. Oh, fail threat. Oh, see, so yeah, I, I can see already I got it wrong. That's saying below fail that would be... Is just a single? Yeah, see, I already got and it wrong. Then, so. And then empty... You know what? If I ever and use my power, door. just keep your dice on the table. I'll just leave them right here in the bag, yeah. right here, just in case. Clearly, I can... clearly I already proved that I couldn't go with this thing. Okay, that's why I have dice. I mean, it's not why I have dice, but it makes it simpler. Good use for dice. A note for for game developers in the future. Don't build uh, abilities that are requisite of a of a physical dice. Not in these days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, once we transcend to our non-physical forms, you know what then, right? <laughs> of course, we'd be playing. We'd be playing get this with real models and real yeah. worlds. And okay, if we, we could, we would. Yeah, uh, I would <laughs> play in dice with. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so what is uh, Taryn and uh, Zul doing in the day that, that Otho is sequestered? Uh, if we got just a day... Man, what do I do to pass the time? That's the question I haven't asked in a while because we've been constantly busy with something. Taryn probably Wait. literally takes a seat down in a chair and goes, "What's, what's going on in my life?" Sits in the chair, cradles his <laughs> in his hands. There, there is administrative duties for the people that you are over. I will remind you, right? So, right, exactly. So that's probably exactly the thing I need to go handle. It's like, oh, phew, I save from introspection. I got a task to do. <laughs> oh dear. Taryn's all about having having the uh, to -day, to do list. He doesn't ever take a moment to rest. Exactly, just like me in real life, <laughs> resting. Ah, that's for being. Why would bored. I want to do that? <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, Taryn is definitely going to go ahead and uh, start taking care of that. Take the robot with them and start getting things done. Sounds good, Zul. Sabak. Okay, do you want to just make a quick roll to see if you earn anything? <laughs> yeah. How many people are on the table? Uh, let's say eight. What's the in? What do you want the in to be? You can choose that. High stakes. Oh, well, I mean, what's the highest stakes table on? Where are we? Narshada. What's the highest stakes table in Narshada? Uh, there is a there's a million credit stakes. All right, well, I'll go. I'll, I'll go to the ten thousand credit game. There you you can find a table where the stakes are your life, but that's technically lower bar than the million dollar table. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I already have the three times. Um, sorry, I keep forgetting that my where my uh, talents are. There we go. That's under combat. The combat tab is always confusing me. I already have three times up the ante, so I already earned 30% more than I would normally. Uh, yeah, I'll go to a 10,000 uh, game. Nice. 
So first thing I'll do is I'll just mark off ten thousand from my sheet. Uh, I, I I was gonna go like, wow, ten thousand seems like a lot, and I'm like, wait, wait a second. Well, I mean, it's still the majority. I mean, it's still like a fourth of my money. Well, no, not a fourth. It's um three fourths of my money. All right. Did you already establish the difficulty? At a ten thousand dollar table. Yeah. Um, let's good. set that to. Let's make it formidable, and we'll upgrade it once. And I'm not gonna throw any dark side at it for right now. Save that dark side for later. Ah, uh, skill, skill, skills. Deception, skull, darkery, or computers. Because I do not play fair. Skull duggery it is. Uh, do I have anything? What are my cheats? What are my cheat moves? Cheat moves. Uh, clearly I'm going to use double or nothing. Make sure you throw a force die with it too. Yeah. Yeah, I would have <laughs> forgotten. Uh, so I suffer two strain. Let me go and mark that. Oh, it's already on there because I never cleared it out and we had days between, so never mind. Uh, to increase the difficulty check by one. You want to go ahead and do that on your end while I'm looking at stuff? Increase or upgrade? Uh, stuff to increase the difficulty of the check by one. Done. Formidable mm -hmm. goes to daunting. All right. That's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I've got lots of things. Just want to make sure. Don't think I have anything that adds to Skullduggery. Nope. All right. So I'll just go ahead and roll this now. Nope, shit. I went... Keep... My problem is I'm always going to the wrong tabs. Oh, you know, I told you I'd forget, and even when you reminded me, I forgot. Uh, light side. Destiny. Uh, I don't know why I rolled all those extra. Uh, the okay. first one, the light side. So it's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a light side. Uh, uh and it's doubled, because double or nothing. So, 14 successes. Plus, uh, plus an advantage, right? Uh, because you flop cause one of those, or you flop two of those, uh, well, no, uh, light side changes a failure and one threat into a success, but I didn't uh, get any failure or threat, so it's just 14 successes. No, you still flop the the failure and the threat of the dice. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, my brain. So so you increase one, one more uh, success and two advantages. Okay, so 14 on a 10,000, so I just won 140,000 uh, at plus 30% on top of that. And I regained one strain from that one advantage. All right, so that is a hundred and eighty-two thousand. That is one. Hey. Wait, that was... now double or nothing? <laughs> I literally, I just did that. I can do that every roll. Double it. Yeah. <laughs> Exponentially increase your own <laughs> with the money. I mean, I could, uh, but I don't know that you guys want me to waste all your time on my Sabbath game. Hey, now it all just comes down to how many people do you want to make angry with <laughs> money? Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, literally, this could be Otho comes out, hey, I've got all the receipts I need, and I said, hey, 
I've got a starship with a 50 person crew. <laughs> what in the hand of Sarlacc? I mean, if you guys want to go, I'll go again. Leave it on the table, Sid. Okay. Are there still people playing after that? I'll take another two <laughs> strain hit and roll. I will push people on the table. I think that there's been at least three people dropped. Oof. Okay, so from an eight person game to a five person game. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, can I find another table? Um, well, that wouldn't be let it ride, would it? No, 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 I don't mean let it I meant leave it on the table as in leave it on, leave the dice on the table because it'd be the same dice. I didn't mean leave it on the table as in leave my chips okay. on the table. Uh, um, yeah, because I want to find a hundred thousand uh, table. Sure, you can find a hundred thousand uh, credit table. All right. Um, there is a one uh, that is a there's. Oh, let me let me just throw some dice. See what comes up. Uh, can I even do that? Can I throw? Oh, yeah, I can just do this, huh? Is it just slash R? Uh... There are three people on that table. Okay, so now four, including myself. I will mark off 100,000 credits from my sheet. Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, Forget no. to pull out your blaster and take the money anyway. No, no, I just wouldn't, couldn't remember if beguiling pheromones worked on uh, Skullduggery. It does not. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Charm negotiation leadership is my guess. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me just double check. Where is my... God, it hurts every time I talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Not just trying to remember where I have my Sabic rules. I have them up here somewhere. There we are. Want to cheat? Yeah, deception works. Yeah. Are these people breathing air? Yes. All right. I'll take another two strain to upgrade my check, and I'll roll with deception instead of. You want to do the upgrade on your side? It's already been done, right? Or do I upgrade it again because so it was five dice with one upgrade. Are you upgrading it? I've only just upgraded it. So but did I do something before five... that upgraded it? No, no, you're talking yes. you're talking about something else. Last time I used um double or nothing to increase the difficulty by one. So you're upgrading it this time. Yeah, now I'm using beguiling pheromones to upgrade it by one. But you're not up you're not increasing it by one. No, no, this is okay. upgrading it by one. The uh, second chance is increases the difficulty by one. So awesome. one increases the number of purple dice. One is an actual upgrade. You're set. We're set. All right. Mm -hmm. And I've this time I should have a force die on there. That's not great. Um, first thing, I'm going to have to use a number of use a number of things here. What has okay? You have that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bom. So currently, you are down one additional failure and no advantages. And one. Uh, of I should have kept. Uh, I should have kept it to Skulldogger. I forgot that I have Natural Rogue, which allows me to reroll Skulldogger check. Oof. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Man, uh, that is as mixed a result as possible. I am order. going to use yeah. uh, I'm going to use fortune favors the bold to suffer two strain to flip one dark side. Uh, no, never mind. That's the, that's the other thing. Sorry. Dark side, destiny point to light side. That was the wrong one. Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, what's on the other side of the proficiency advantage on that yellow? 
or rather, what's the, the adjacent? Yeah, what's the adjacent ones? The yellow die, the the proficiency, uh, the one with advantage. What's on the? Okay, so so the uh, is there's a triumph. There's two successes, two advantages, and a, a single success, and a, a, a success and a, an advantage. Oh, wait, you know what? On a uh, triumph, which I already have, uh, on the uh, spending advantage triumph thing, it says reveal a positive or a negative 23 and win the entire Sabak pot. So, even with the fails and the uh, the dark side, that triumph wins me the game. Shit. Uh. <laughs> this is a four-player table, right? Yep. So that's 4,000 credits. 400,000 Four, credits. Yep. Well, sorry, I'm doing the up the ante math. Which is an additional 120,000. So, 520,000 credits. On top of the 82,000 credits I still have from the money not spent. Sid, I have an additional question for you. Okay. Is there a half a million table? Um, there is, but you probably have already spent your day... All right, in that's these fine. Two games, right? That's fair. It, it's not like they're short games. If you want right. it to be, that's fine by me. I was just going to push it all the way up to the million table if I could. You'll get there soon. I mean, you don't need sleep, right? <laughs> uh, technically, <laughs> technically, I don't. I've got the headband. Although... I've got the headband that'll allow me to stay awake on forever. Um, you, until I start taking damage. Yeah, too, so then you get disoriented and you're like... Well, I, Is that a nosebleed? Are you, are, you, are you having a problem right now? Your internal organs are shutting down. It's like, nah, I can still play. Well, I just mean that, <laughs> I, I, just mean that a normal person can stay awake for at least a day. I don't think that... I don't think that I'm going to, like, take fatal damage from staying awake for four, less than 48 hours. If I did, that was a flaw that I didn't include in my character. Right, no, if that was true, I'd already be dead myself, but, uh... <laughs> so, at least, uh, you made a profit. How much did you make in total? Uh, in total, I made six, uh, 602,000. On nice. top of the money that I didn't spend before, which was only 4,316. Mm-hmm. So Very I, nice. I turned 14,000 into 600,000. Mm -hmm. Money! Ooh. Just better hope the uh, players aren't going to try and kill you. Yeah. Oh dear. For what? This party is extremely rich already. There's literally nothing that you could want that you couldn't already buy. Oh, there's there's uh, Starship <laughs> upgrades you could buy. But can you buy happiness? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a hut that is in love with me that I can already buy having this room. <laughs> I've got a forgotten back coast fat. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, you guys come together. Mm -hmm. uh, Zul is wearing some more costly apparel. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. But well, the problem is that I'm already <laughs> wearing expensive stuff, so. I can't. More expensive stuff. I literally am wearing the most expensive stuff. I mean, not like um, our Wookiee here, who's wearing like the most expensive power armor you could find. I'm wearing yeah. the most made-to-look expensive, expensive stuff. I put like a gold bandolier on, you know? I mean, look fancy. <laughs> it works. Exactly what you did. Okay. Um, you're together again. And... Uh... <clears throat> Fui, or Otho, yes. What do you? I go ahead and take over. Up to your your. Here. Okay. So we have this holocron now unlocked. So we have access to that now, which wasn't to be expected, but with the information, it's able to get. All right. So she's she's gonna come and say, "All right, I 
think we have our next step. We got locations to, yeah. Um, we have locations to artifacts over three whole planets, and there is a lot in there. Um, I mean, Healy's got something, so that's a start. Yeah. So, where are they? Well, dr we have them primarily on Droned Koss, of course, mm -hmm. Zyost, and Yavin 4. A bit odd, but close so, to the cache of there. So Droned Koss, I think there. we've already gone over as the place we you don't really want to be, which is fair, but, you know, if that's where you want to go. Uh, Zyost, I'm not sure I know anything of the popular consciousness about Zylos, but with Yavin 4, I'd just be like, you mean like a moon around a gas giant somewhere in the backwoods? So, mm. here's what Otho knows about these planets. Ready? Yeah, mm -hmm. Dromonkos is the current uh, headquarters of the Sith Empire. Um, the the Kos city is where, where the citadel of the Sith Empire is. Um, it's a jungle planet uh, with lots of rain, um, lots of tombs, and a temple to the dark side. Um, there is a obviously a bunch of people on Dromonkos, uh, but it's it's a fairly expensive place to live, and usually is uh, pretty much just the the wealthy live on drum and cost. Mm -hmm. um, there are some underbelly elements there, but most most of the people are, you know, even the uh, those that are would be undesirable are generally not live long on drum and cost. Mm -hmm. Zyost is the old capital. It's a uh, much more uh, densely populated. Has less tombs and no temple, um, but still has quite a few things of interest on there. Uh, but it is it is a more uh, <clears throat> uh, more of an agricultural planet than Drummond Koss is. Mm -hmm. um, the although it's also de densely populated in in the places that is populated and not just agricultural land it, it's got a city but i mean you go there for the farming <laughs> well it's it's the main place where where the food for the neighboring system is is grown mm. um so so yeah there's that that's zyost yavin 4 you don't really know anything about at all. Yeah. I think there's Just a no. fueling station out there. There's some stuff. <laughs> there's not even a refueling station in Yavin 4 in this era. Oh. Uh, Just nothing. A black hole. So, yeah, that sounds very suspicious and probably not somewhere I want to go right now. So... I guess there's the question. Do you want to go to the city? Do you want to go to the burbs? Or do you want to go to the black hole? Right now, I think <laughs> keeping, a, keeping a somewhat lower profile might be a better idea. And as of right now, the exact nature of the artifacts we pick up is not of... It, it's important, but it's not vital right now. So I think going to Zyost might be our best bet. And we can narrow our search to the things that are located there. Okay. Right. So... And if you were interested in saying very low, go into some place absolutely nobody is is about as low as it can possibly go. That's true, but it's very suspicious that That's also understandable. There's a bunch of stuff in this random place that nobody else has gotten to. There's probably a reason for that. Mm-hmm. So I want you to make another lore check. Uh, this one's going to be a hard difficulty with one upgrade. Okay. Um, you're going to have uh, no boost dice on this at all and no setback. So, okay. Uh, this is just to try to figure out something that the Loridians would be interested in on Zyos. 
Okay. Let's go. Shit. Um, yeah, you find a lot of things like cigarette case of <laughs> lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff that are named, have names, like they're named something. But mm -hmm. The names are uh, in in your time as an archivist in your, in the past. Things that are named are usually journals. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And you're not sure if any of those would actually be worth something to the Luridians. They might. Uh, knowledge is usually more powerful than artifacts anyways, but which one? Yeah. Would it be would it be possible to cross-reference any of the uh, names that I can find in the Holocron with uh, records of journals or archives in Shellis' library? I mean, you can definitely do that, but as you as you've spent a lot of time in Shellis's library, you realize mm -hmm. that it's not exactly the um, most thorough library. Yeah. It's it's the it's the library of someone who's been on the outside of of the of the uh, society of Sith lore and has just picked up stuff or been given stuff, as is more likely mm -hmm. the case by admirers so there are other libraries and archives that you could reference that would be more complete hmm so they probably definitely have a library in german cost but actually going there might be a bit of a bother there's also a very very complete archive on zyost oh well, then, I think we might want to pay that place a visit. If it's got more books for you to sort through and we can uh, find more of these things that you're after, then, yeah, I think that's probably the best place to start. Now, yeah, so, is, hmm? what are you going to do to, you know, I mean, you don't need the money, right? So, mm -hmm. obviously, you can do whatever you want, but are you going to try to figure out some uh, scheme to earn more money while you're heading that way, or...? Well, I do want to eat. Yeah. Well, having having a trade mission to get there would probably be a a good idea. Just to have a cover there, so everyone's not like, "Oh, here comes another Sith, Sith pilgrim looking around for information and artifacts." Now, Zios does have some resort qualities to it, right? There's a there's a really nice resort on it, um because uh it's it's the agricultural area area mm -hmm. it's right off of a of a pristine ocean mm -hmm. uh beach beach uh sand um right ocean to right you could take some time off beach episode right if we go there obviously if we pick up food from there and bring it back to narshada that just sells immediately um but if we're talking about things to bring to there in the first place, uh, I guess I might need some research. Mm -hmm. Drugs are always popular. Of course, drugs! Oh, we're fresh out of our own drugs, Not though. Those, yeah, we're fresh out of drugs at the moment. Because <laughs> nobody did the Kessel Run yet. Yep. It's it's on our list for mm -hmm. uh, for something to do. We'll have to eventually. Maybe next Don't time we get like a week, I'll just go ahead and say like, "Yeah, I picked up all the all the spice. I picked up some culto, and now I'm just mashing it together." Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could you can just say, "We're just gonna go to enjoy our time on Zyost." Is what I'm that's saying. entirely possible. That's we could true. Just be there to pick up. Yeah. All right. I mean, all right. I'm so fine with that. Planet, and you need time to search around and find stuff. Then I can spend some time talking to people. It works yeah. out. And if Take not, then easy. you know, Come there's on. always a beach there. That's true. Take it so, easy. Connect. Zool. I'm sure there are a bunch of casinos there. There always are in resorts. Sounds good. Yeah. Some easy marks there for you. They're not marks. <laughs> You're right, you're right. That's not what we're supposed to tell them. I keep forgetting every now and then. 
Look, I, the way that I play the game, everybody can play the game the same way. <laughs> well, hopefully there's someone out there who is at least equal to you at the table. Maybe you'll find them one day. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, find them so you can stay far away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, well, I'll go ahead, I'll punch the cords, and... I say let's get flying. Unless anyone right. has anything they well, want to cover. Astrogation, since this is the first time you guys are going here. Good need yeah, to park up. And open up I guess to be clear from the here. start, taking my own ship as well. Okay. Okay. So you'll probably have to do that yourself too. Uh, uh, is... Astrogation is going to be one yellow, one green, because the robot's doing it. I hear you. All right. Tell me when you're ready. It's just going to be a hard astrogation check, and the dice pull is set. Okay. Boop. Success and advantage. Wow. Oh, th those see? are threats. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm blind and dumb. Blind me. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Asteroid field. It is going to take you uh, oof, from Narshada. Uh, it, it, it is going to take you a week and you are going to receive some system strain. Oh dear! How um, much are we looking at? Just, just four of them, right? We're just gonna just let Three, you four. take them. Boop. There we go. And uh, go ahead and make your roll. There, I fly well, myself. Darn it! Did he got almost the exact same oh. result? So yeah, so Zul is going to take four. Taryn, your your ship only takes. Three. Okay. There we go. And uh yeah, it takes you the same amount of time, fortunately. It's well, I mean, like we're you... arriving together anyway, so Yeah. I told you the slingshot around the sun would would be perfectly fine. I know how we can handle this. Yeah. Okay. Um this drive. So Zul, does your ship have a a transponder for Sith space or no, no. I guess it's more like a Independence World ship. So as soon as you come in out of out of hyperspace, you are immediately messaged with a. Uh, <clears throat> what is your business here, non-citizen? Vacation. <clears throat> This is a this is the Sith Empire you are entering, and you wish to vacation here. Yeah, out of character. That's not crazy, by the way. I mean, not crazy in a well, real world sense. People vacation in Iraq. It's not crazy. <laughs> it's not crazy, but they are still going to unusual make you roll a charm check. All right. So, I mean, it's not like you're gonna, any damage is going to be done here, but go ahead and roll just to see. Yeah, see if they are, like, incredibly suspicious or just, like, yeah, whatever. I have three automatic advantage on charm. Nice. Damn. I got only advantage, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, All wow. advantage! Hold on, I can turn something into a success somehow. Hold on. That's, uh, second chances. Uh, choose a number of positive dice. Three of them. I'm gonna re-roll. Uh, I'm just re-roll the yellow and the green. There you go. So hold on, yellow, green. Make clear the dice pool so it doesn't interfere. You're ready to go. There we go. Wait. Hey, positives. Yeah. No, actually, no. That negates, doesn't it? So no no oh, that's no. still positive that's still positive the uh yeah I rerolled the successes yeah I rerolled the double advantage not the double success one so yeah you you're turning three advantages into no advantages and two successes so, right yeah and so then I you have, add your three yeah so you have two two successes and a threat yeah okay. nice um <clears throat> I will spend the threat. Uh, accordingly, um, what, 
what area of Zyost are you actually landing in? Are you all landing in the same area, or are you going to different places? Are you dropping uh, Otho off in the uh, neighborhood of his of their archive, or are you? Um, uh, where is your archive, and where is that relative yeah. to like the nearest resort? So, archive is in the city. Resort is, if you look at the globe, is probably about over here. Oh, damn. Okay, so we'll land right. in the city, and we could travel to the resort if we really want to. Well, you're, there we go. You're talking, you're talking the distance from Chicago to uh, L.A. Ah, right. Yeah, right, in right. a world yeah. where high velocity speeders exist. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, pro probably a good idea for you is to just drop, drop both off. Um, you guys. Go down to the resort, do what you need to do. I'll contact you and pick it back up if I find something, all right? All right, so you go ahead and take care of business and keep in communication. The other thing you're thinking of, though, you, you would probably be thinking of, is the fact that you talked about buying food. Yeah, and I probably need to be in the city for that, right? This, I mean, you don't know where. You don't have a contact here for, mm -hmm. for, for buying right. food. So you are going to need to make some contacts to do that. Yup, that's right. Hmm. Alright, so I guess I'm going to be landing in the city then, and I'll just be staying somewhere okay for now, and I'll worry about the resort later when I relax. Alright. And, uh, Zul, what, what are, where are you landing? No, with the resort. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <clears throat> um, Otho? Yes. Make a I I'm not going to set a difficulty. Okay. I just want you to roll your lore and that will inform me of certain things. Okay. Um and then we'll move on to Taryn. Yep, yep. Big. Nice. Okay. I will get back with you with what that means. All right. You are you are feeling at home though. In fact, it it is possible that your character has worked in this exact archive. It's like, oh I, I remember this Adrian. What the Look at the uh, that I mean, cells in the moves. It's like cookie cutter archive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The the drum and cost and the Corban and the Zyast are all the same arc. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's not what, what it's like, but... And, yeah, like, I, I, I'm i guessing, like, um, although it's born in the Empire and was raised there, so I guess the, the culture is actually a lot more familiar for her as well, which is nice. Yep. Uh, and, and being a Sith is nice when you come to... Yeah. Even though you are considered technically an apprentice, um, you know, apprentices are still Sith, so yeah. Have advantages. Yep. Literally. <laughs> uh Taryn. That's me. How so, what are you doing with your time? Well, if I'm gonna go ahead and start cold calling people on a planet I've never been to, I gotta wonder what skill that falls under, which is probably charm, I think. Well, it depends on how you're wanting to do it. Um, you could you could do a streetwise or a knowledge out of rim or something. Yeah. To figure out where these guys would go to have fun. And then you uh, can... yeah, that would probably be a good place to start. Let's go ahead and try hitting up streetwise then. So if we got the difficulty for that set, I'll just go ahead and roll. I don't yet, but give me one second. Yeah. No. No worries. <clears throat> This no is going to be an average check, but this is not your typical street. So mm -hmm. I'm going to um, leave it non-upgraded, but I'm going to give you three setback dice for the unfamiliarity of the area. Okie doke. And you're awesome. ready to go. That. Oh, wow. Yeah, that just rolled 
two really big difficulties. So yeah, it comes out flat even. <laughs> no luck for Terran today. Okay. Um Yeah, this street is not as kind to you as Narshada. They're just they they think differently here. Uh, for yeah, some reason, the way the I Fifth, fifth Empire works, everyone just like, who's this weirdo asking questions? Are we in trouble? Well, okay, one, you are a Wookiee. Exactly. You oh, are a slave to everyone that you see here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look at you and they're like, why are you walking around without your master? Ooh. Where's your slave color? This is the way they're they're like looking at you. So yeah. yeah. I'm not really making a lot of inroads when no one's even giving me the time of day. So yeah. well, that's a failure for today at least, and I'll accept that. Um do you want to just I don't know, maybe do a Stop her. check or something to or a computer's check to do some like internet searches for for contacts and stuff like that yeah that also kind of makes sense that could be a secondary avenue maybe the less people actually see of me first the more uh i could start lying and saying i'm working for somebody else who's not a wookie oh dear <laughs> you do know that you have a sith apprentice that, that I do you work with and and Sith in the name of the Sith apprentice, uh, second appointment to the third sub council. <laughs> you also know the name Shellis, who is a lord. Oh, she's actually a lord now. That's right, isn't she? Oh, she's always been a lord, technically. I not entirely sure if her name's safe to drop right now. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and keep her out for the moment, but I'll use our fake Sith name. So I'll I'll roll that skullduggery check once you got that ready. Same check, I suppose. Skullduggery or computers? Uh, skullduggery. So uh, once that's set up, just waiting for the go ahead. Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to reduce that by two and upgrade that by one, and good to go. Okay. Nice. Yeah, some slightly more pointed inquiries. Nice. And stealing um, people's data pads. You uh, are completely successful in finding out that there is basically only one uh, exporter mm -hmm. that sells with the food on, on Zyrus. Um, everything else is, is nationally uh, run. So it's like federal, federal uh, regulated and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. there's only one one player that you can even negotiate with at this point. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so yeah, um, you also, uh, yeah, two successes. I'll tell you that most of their laborers are, you know. Slaves. Oof. Yeah, that kind of checks out. That's exactly what I should expect from the Sith Empire here on an agricultural world. So it's possible also that you could guarantee that there's going to be some Wookiee slaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, now the plan suddenly changed. How can I free them all? <laughs> uh, so... I'm not here to ruin out those days. Here's here's the thing about and I and I want to make sure that this is clear. Um, mm -hmm. Huts are really bad on their slaves. Titan mm -hmm. syndicates really bad on their slaves. Um, the Sith Empire, it depends on the on the Sith that's that owns them, but for the most part, they aren't treated poorly. And they're for, slightly more interested in the utility. Yes. They are they are not as interested in you know starving their slaves or beating them to near death or you know uh forcing them to work 
too long hours and that kind mm-hmm. of thing. A SIP slave is is best treated slaves out there. <laughs> the cat lacks the but, yeah. <laughs> Mm. All right. So, I mean, it's not like I have to free them from eternal suffering here necessarily, but I know what I'm getting into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where, yeah, it's not cool, but... <laughs> but am I going to take on the entire Sith Empire here and now for this? I, th- picking the battles is probably the better choice. <laughs> where you could where you could easily go to, you know... Nal Hutta and and spree some hot slaves. You're you're gonna get beat down by the hut cartel. I will be shot right? down from orbit. Nar Shada, you can go and and you can generally find some being held by third party people that you know. Uh, you go to Zios to free slaves. You're gonna be fighting the entire Sith Empire. Right. Not a bright idea right now. Nope. Come back with yeah. the tank. A tank? <laughs> just, 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 just one. one. Yeah. One needs. Just one and Otho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otho can only destroy tanks. She can't use them. Now, <clears throat> it's possible that uh, uh, Zul could just talk him out of Owning them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at this point, probably. Uh, but yeah, so I've at least made some slight inroads. I know the only game in town, and now it's time to see how big of a monopoly that is and if there's profit. So that's going to be more time. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll another. I guess this would start being negotiation at this point if I send out calls to like, start trying to query. Uh, yeah, it's... Go for it. Okay. I'm not good Negotiation at Negotiation or charm. Oh, uh, l- let me let me roll charm then. <laughs> I got yellow dice for that. Ah, it's even worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, sir, but no. we have our own pilots. Um, mm-hmm. you you get a uh, a recording. It is apparently a holiday, uh, a and and they're closed for the next three days. Oh, ah, holiday, you say? <laughs> Time to live it up, obviously. All right. Well, I think I've probably gone at least through a day's worth of routines, and I'm going to figure out what to do for the next day then. Okay. Um. Also, uh, let's give. Uh, never mind. Hold on, I forgot. Zool. Yeah, Zool, <laughs> you get I... to have a time at your resort. What are you? What are you looking for? Savic. Okay. Um, Show me the Savic table. Make a. Ooh, let's see here. Not. I don't want you adding any of your abilities. Just roll flat charm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> despite you having access to nearly unlimited wealth at this point, um, not they, even close. Oh, well, okay. Uh, they are willing to let you in on one of the lower state games. Um, to give you a chance to prove your mm-hmm. your acumen, to see if you're an actually interesting uh, alien who who gambles. What a charming alien! <laughs> Put him in a kitty table, and we'll see what he can do. Pretty much, okay. exactly. That. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, <clears throat> this is going to be a. There's going to be six people here, but the maximum bid is a thousand credits. All right. So six people, including me or not including me? Including you. You will be the sixth. All right. Are they breathing air? Uh, 
most of them are actually have rebreathers on except for two okay that's fine that just means i don't do that these, thing these are sith who are paranoid and have you seen the pictures of sith they usually have rebreathers <laughs> or full masks yeah no i just, oh. the comments i was making when uh otho got shot in the face this is uh swotor basically you're not a sith until you get severely damaged and cybernetically enhanced exactly Nobody takes you seriously if you're a uh, smooth skin. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> smooth skins. Did you set your side up yet? Yep, all set. All right, well, I'm going to take uh, two strain to double or nothing. So increase the difficulty of the check by one. Increase the difficulty... I won. Right, so just one more purple. I was just considering some things, but... <clears throat> Alright. I think that's all I'm going to do on the face. And I'll see what happens after I roll. Go for it. Oh, Remember I almost here. forgot, yeah. Light side. All right, that's in there. All uh, right, deception. Okay, so second chances is going to come into play. To reroll three dice. I'm going to take the uh, proficiency advantage, the green with nothing showing, and one of the other greens. It doesn't matter. You know thought that comes into my head is if I should just roll both yellows, because if I get a triumph, I just win automatic. And those yellows are my only chance to get a triumph. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll... Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll both <laughs> yellows and the green. Oh, dear. Dice pull. So it's not a... There you go. Ready? Yeah, we can get at least two out of three dice. Ah, uh, damn. Hey, there you go. You did it. Uh, no. Uh, because the uh, I still I still have the uh, the force die on the table, which is the problem. Oh um, dear. Uh, hold uh, on. Let me see. I've got other options still, I believe. Uh, I always got unmatched fortune. Just want to make sure what I can and can't reroll. Skullduggery and Stealth are my main riddles right now. I can't use Clever Solution. Already tapped Second Chances. Convincing Demeanor. Yeah, no. Um, uh, hold on. Can, what can I use this on? This is just represented by like loud sweating as you're like, oh no, these cards aren't good. Yeah, I can only change. Okay, on either of the yellow dice... Can you tell me where the triumph is? So, on the uh, empty side, the triumph is on the opposite side. Okay, and what about the right. other one? The uh... So, this one, the choices are a single success, two successes, a single success and an advantage, or two advantages. Okay, and what about the uh, the one with the blank? Or, if you look at uh, the single success and advantage, you have a blank, obviously. Um, well, then or... the triumph has to be there, right? No, because... If you, you said notice... it's on the opposite side of the blank, and then... Oh, never mind, I forgot it's a... Uh, what's a D12? Yeah, this is a D12. Yeah, never mind, I forgot who it's... Okay. Uh, the blank you said was close to two uh, successes? Two successes. But All right. You, either, either of them... Well, it depends... Because there's actually two sides that match that success and advantage. So either you have two advantages or two successes. Well, I would uh, go with... both have two successes and two advantages. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I would go with... Uh, I'm going to spend two destiny from our pool. We have two destiny, don't we? Nope, just one. All right, well, I'm going to spend two different powers. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going deep. On the kitty pool. Uh, fortune All favors the bold. I'm, yeah, fortune favors the bold. Suffer two strain to switch one dark side to a light side. 